Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Uh, I spotted this swarm right here last night before I went to work. Didn't have time to shake it. And as you can see, they're in the air right now. And I thought I'd take this video because a lot of times <clears throat> these swarms will take off and they'll end up in a box or they'll come out and merge with another swarm and go right back. So let's see what they do or they may just fly off and never see them again. You just, it's just hard to tell. I was hoping to get home to be able to shake it into a nuke box, but I just as I was pulled in, they was just starting to stir. So we'll, we'll film them here and see where they end up going. It was probably two or three pound of bees. It wasn't real big, maybe three pound. But, uh, you know, being the end of the year, you know, we have a lot of nukes left, but we also have empty boxes also. And some of them got old comb in them, old drawed out comb. So a lot of times these swarms will end up going into a an empty box and maybe not but we'll see where they go and if they end up flying off of course I'll just delete the video there they they're going that direction so let's follow them here a little bit and just see what they do <clears throat> there they go right there they send out scout bees so Scout bees has communicated back with the swarm and they've uh, found a place to live. So, just see where they end up going. Working a full time job, there's a, uh, I don't get to stay on top of the bees a lot of times like I would like to. and. Well, we get swarms. And they could end up going back into a tree. You never know about them sometimes. But they're moving relatively slow. So I have seen, I did a, uh, I did a video and I lost it uh, where they went from this yard over here, crossed over and went in to the yard that these just come from. So we'll see where these go. Okay, I see another swarm over here in this tree. Let's see what they do. This would be a great video if they end up merging with that swarm right there. I t I've talked about that before, but I've never actually got the whole thing on video. So there's the other swarm. I don't know if you can't see it. It doesn't look like... They are, they're going right past it. Okay. Well, it was a good thing I followed this one because I wouldn't have saw this swarm. And right there's that little swarm, not real big. Let's see. I even have some empty uh, queen mating nukes. Looks like I need to do some weed eating. Right there they are. They're supposed to know where they go, where they're going, when they leave a swarm because according to the, they go accordingly to the, the scouts. But they are moving awful slow. It almost looks like they're looking for a place, but that's not common. Well, they've slowed down and they've stopped right above these mating nukes. They're just swarming around right, right around this area right here. 
I was almost hoping they would merge in with that swarm there because that, that would have been a neat thing to catch on video to share with everyone. Sometimes these uh, little uh, queen mate nukes, they'll have just a handful of bees and they could very well go right into to one of those. Hopefully it's not a too, too long of a drawed out video. But they are definitely, they stopped. I mean, they, as soon as they got over these uh, mate nukes, they just stopped and right above them and swarmed and like they know where they're headed. Kind of. <laughs> okay. In order to reduce this size of this video, I'm gonna put this on pause for just a little bit and then resume when, when I can see that they either leave or go into a box, or when I start going into a box. Okay. <laughs> They've slowed down. And it looks like they're gonna end up in one of these little maiden nukes. You can see them right here. And they're trying to congregate right here, right here on the entrance. See if we can catch the queen laying. Look how they're fanning immediately. So they've picked a, a location here to swarms are very interesting. Look how uh, new beekeepers take note how how you see these bees with their tail up in the air. They're fanning pheromone. And look at them how thick they are right here. See if we can spot a queen or some queens. That last swarm that I shook in the back of my pickup truck. I end up finding about six queens in that swarm. A lot of people think there's one queen per swarm. That's not true. There ends up being one queen when they take when they take up a when you shake them in a box uh, and you you say you do find a queen. Well, there's others and there ends up being one queen in the end because as soon as they take up a residency in a box they start immediately balling up those other queens and killing them i've seen it time and time again and in that instance uh, a couple days ago uh, I, you just look for gobs and you pull that gobs out and they'll be they'll be balling the queens up killing them It's almost like they uh, they pick one queen to live and they'll kill the other ones. So I jumped in and rescued uh, four of those queens. One of them was already dead. By the time I uh, picked her up, they had already killed her. And But I did manage to save save the other ones and put them in cages <clears throat> and I did uh, 
out of that swarm I end up getting one giant 10 frame with a medium and two nukes and two more extra queens so we end up being five or six queens total that's uh that's something how this swarm left wherever they was and like i say i do have some empty boxes you would think they'd have took up something but but look here how they've uh, these are already occupied and they're coming inside these already occupied mini nukes and they're not just going in one they're going in right there's one they're going in this one right here i haven't looked on the other side yet doesn't look like they're coming over here too much But let's see if we can find a queen here or more than one queen. Sometimes they'll do that. They'll come in and they'll, they'll take over a smaller colony. That's how uh, even killer bees will do that. Of course, these aren't killer bees. They don't look like much killers. Let me put this on pause again to cut the time down on the video and I'll see if I can uh, spot a queen or uh, see when they start balling one and uh, I'll resume it. And... Okay, I'm back. Here's what happened. I checked this box out from inside and what I found out, okay, right here's, someone's having a hard time focusing today. There's a queen right there. I hope you can see it on the camera. It's not focusing in real good for some reason. She's... Right there. But anyway, what I found out in this hive, this is one where I pulled the queen out, sold the queen, and it wasn't successful in with their queen cell of regenerating a queen. Um, I did find some capped brood on that other frame that I pulled out right there, just a small amount. So, what they've done now this is this is this isn't a return not to get confused this is not a returning mating swarm this was actually one that i followed in a tree that was actually uh in a swarm so that's what this is here so what they've done they've come down and and just taken up in this very small colony there there's no there's no honey in the frame it was pretty much depleted so see how they're fanning sorry about that guys on the focus for some reason it was off auto focus I hope I don't mess the video up too much so now I can really get up close to them you can see see how they're fanning see their tails up right there see how that she's with her tail up in the air because uh, the queens went in and they found them a new home so that's where they end up going that's a good thing about having a lot of a lot of hives you end up you don't lose all your swarms so let me check and see they're going in these two boxes here also so let me put it on pause and check those out real quick 
Okay, they pretty much they was spread out a little bit. They they had went in that box right there, but there was pretty much nothing in there. Uh, probably in the confusion, they just went in there, but they're primarily in this box right here. So, so they swarmed out of wherever they was to come congregate into a a two-frame mate and nuke. But the queen's in there. There's no eggs in there, so there there was just a a little pattern of capped brood where the the queen had failed or the queen never did mate and come back so that's what we had there so they're in there now we followed the swarm from start to to end and this is where they ended up i figured that i thought that'd make a pretty interesting video so hopefully the the quality of video is okay where i didn't have it on autofocus and uh, i apologize for the drawed out length of this this is over 16 minutes long and if you like our videos, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook. We have a group page on there. And thanks for watching Barnyard Bees.